Hey, Owners, Greetings from Curacao in the Caribbean. I'm here for Get Wet Weekend, which is the biggest gay event of the year. Now, Curacao is actually a very gay-friendly island. I know a lot of islands in the Caribbean are not so much, and they like to sing about how they're not so much. But Curacao is one of the most gay-friendly places you'll find in the Caribbean. Um, I'm staying at the Avia Hotel, and I just swam laps in the pool, which is why I have little goggle lines. You want to see the pool? Something else that's going on down here is um, they're having a bit of a gay marriage hoopla because marriage equality is legal in the Netherlands, but Curacao, has, the local uh, officials here have, have not started recognizing those unions yet, and there's a case going through the courts now, but um, the local gay folks tell me that eventually they think the gay marriage will be legal here, just like it is in the Netherlands. It's just a matter of getting through the court. All right, this is the risk port in old Curacao, and this is the site where the Atlantis cruise that came through in the spring had a big dance party inside that port. Now, a gay cruise had never come to Curacao before that, so there was a lot of interest in the town. It was in the newspaper. It was a big deal. Nobody knew how it would go. And by all accounts, it was a roaring success. And the gay locals that I talked to said it was like Christmas. That's how exciting it was. And they had that whole, all those different levels full of people, and they were dancing. And it just goes to show you that with some welcoming locals, a ship full of gays, uh, a nice old slavery port, and a good Robin remix, you can really bring people together. Those bells mean that's the way of telling everyone on the island of Curacao that Clay Aiken finally came out of the closet. There's a souvenir shop here in uh, Curacao called Rim Jim 2. Apparently the first one was such a success they did a sequel. Now I haven't met Jim and I don't know Jim, but that's pretty gay friendly. We are here at the, the Herb Garden in Curacao. And what's this area called? Dim Paradera. It Dim comes Paradera. from Parashiri. Okay. Yes. And I'm here with Dina Viris. Is that how you pronounce it? Yes, Dina You're Viris. an author. You started this whole garden. You opened it. And you know about herbs and healing spirituality, and nature, and everything. Mm -hmm. Well, you also, I just bought a bottle of love oil, and I'm single again. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it, but it's true. So I bought some love oil to help me in my love life. So how does this work? Yes. It brings the love energy for you. Okay. You know? I'm so all about it. Yes. And so you rub some here on the belly. Okay. You know? So right. this part gets the energy of love. Okay. You rub on the heart chakra. Okay. And you rub on the third eye, the third eye, and then you close it again. Do it every day. You know, it will bring you the love. It Before I go out into the world, yes. into that cold world, yes. and meet the, the people. Yes, and then you will carry the energy of love. It's like a love potion. It's like a <laughs> If you come to Curacao, you have to come to the herb garden and get some love oil. I'm here at the entrance to the Lion's Dive Beach Resort in Curacao, and here's a carved lion, which I like very much. And also, I want you to point out that they're playing Charmed on the TV in the lobby. So, Holly Marie Combe fans know that Curacao hasn't forgotten. And I also want to point out that the elephant has carved wooden balls, which are a nice way to greet you as you enter the hotel. And you don't get that at the W. I'm sorry, you don't. Here's something interesting about Curacao. They don't have Starbucks. And you know what? That's okay. It's not like I need it. 